One of the largest dog breeds of all time is the Great Dane. They are elegant and imposing at the same time and in today's video we're going to find out my top five reasons why you should consider adding this sleek beast into your home. Welcome back to the Great Dane channel. My name's Joe, and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Great Dane. Then, how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise the perfect Great Dane. So, if you're a lifelong Great Dane lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new Great Dane, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a future upload here on the Great Dane channel. So let's dive into today's video, where we'll find if the Regal Great Dane is the right canine for you. The Great Dane has a long history, dating possibly back to the Egyptians and more recently to the Romans. The Great Dane is considered a massive breed, and in some areas of the world is referred to as the Danish Mastiff. Originally, the Great Dane was called a boarhound, a name that was aptly given since their original purpose was as a wild boar hunter. Until the late 1800s, the Great Dane had the personality and temperament you would expect of a massive dog breed to hunt equally massive, ferocious game like wild boar. This is when breeders started bringing the dog into their homes and worked on mellowing the temperament of their breed. Today's Great Dane, as you might know if you have one or have been around one, is very much the opposite of their boar hunting ancestors. Now that we know a little bit about the history of the Great Dane, let's jump into my top five why you should get a Great Dane. Number one, obviously, the Great Dane is considered a giant breed and they do require space inside the home despite their mellow temperament. Because of their long tails, bodies and legs, Great Danes aren't the best dogs for small apartments because it's just difficult for them to move around or for you to move around them. They do have a low to medium energy level that's obviously higher when they're puppies, but they remain playful throughout their lives. Adult Great Danes need a solid hour of low impact exercise a day in order to work off their energy, but in general, they're wonderful dogs for people who aren't always going on intense hikes or runs. Hey guys, I just wanted to very quickly interrupt this video and let you know about our world famous industry leading dog collar, the Fenrir Odin Collar. It truly is the world's best collar featuring the Austria Alpine Cobra buckle, military grade webbing, an awesome traffic handle for increased support that was designed by myself as a canine behaviorist to be the ultimate collar for these large large, powerful breeds that we all love. So if you want more information on why I truly believe it's the best collar in the world and it might be the collar that you're looking for, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. Number two, the Great Dane is fairly intelligent, but not to the level of modern working dogs. This means they can easily learn all the basic commands that make for a well-managed canine companion with minimal fuss but they can be easily overstimulated from raised voices if they do the wrong things. The breed tends to be very emotionally sensitive. Because of their sensitivity, a Great Dane is a good choice for you if you're an experienced canine leader that is calm and consistent. Number three, the Great Dane is a short-coated dog and despite their sleek appearance, they do shed quite a lot. Some Great Danes can be quite drooly and tend to drool more than others. Because their coat is so sleek, they can be prone to skin issues as well as getting cold easily. So they learn to love having warm outfits. Number four, and like I said before, modern Danes have a very different temperament to their ancestors. To date, the Great Dane is one of the most gentle and friendly breeds out there. They're extremely gentle with children and generally very friendly towards strangers and other animals. They make a wonderful watch and potential guard dogs in their home because of their imposing stature and big, deep bark. 
Despite their gentle nature, most people familiar with the breed will attest to their fierceness when defending their family. And number five, Great Danes are extremely affectionate and loving companions who bond very closely with their family and prefer to be around people all the time. They are very playful and enjoy trying to fit themselves in your lap even though they range from 120 to 200 pounds. They are not known to be independent and do best when someone is at home with them for the majority of the day. Because of this and their calm temperament, they are starting to make a name for themselves as emotional support animals. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comments down below and subscribe so you never miss a video here on the Great Dane channel. We have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Great Dane channel.